I'm Laura. I'm Troy. Welcome to Foulmouth Gardens. Hi guys, you're in my kitchen right now. We are about to let the ducklings swim for the very first time. All of them except for the khaki Campbells, they weren't swimming I think yesterday or the day before. <laughs> so before I got them anyway. So I'm gonna flop the camera over to the pool we have set up in our kitchen right now and let's watch them take a dip. All right, here they are. We've got them on the side temporarily. We're about to let them get in the pool. So let me zoom in on that and we'll start loading them up. I know they're gonna have a blast because they had some water spill into their brooder earlier today and they were loving it. They messed that thing up. Ducks love water. <laughs> so let's let them, let's let them swim. All right, that's all we're gonna put in for right now. You see their friends are kinda wondering what's happening over there. They needed to get clean. They were filthy. The thing about ducklings, they don't have their adult feathers yet and their fuzz they have now is not waterproof. So they can get waterlogged and drown if they aren't supervised. So we're only going to let them swim for a couple minutes and then we're going to switch them out. Here comes batch number two. <laughs> So they figure it out. We're gonna be going crazy in there. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> I love how irritated they are at first and they're like, wait a second, this is amazing. <laughs> well, we've got the first batch of swimmers back in the temporary brooder while we clean the other one. I just wanted to give you guys a look at these birds while they are preening themselves. If you've never heard of the term preening before, it's basically they're cleaning themselves, but what they do is they take their bill and they've got a gland near their backside there and it produces an oil that they rub all over themselves and it helps them stay clean, it helps repel water. So it's really important when they've got their adult feathers in to keep them safe in the water. All right, that's it for this episode. Just wanted to show you really quick the new brooder we have set up. We decided to move them into the pool. So here they are. They've got a lot more space now than the two brooders combined. So they should be pretty happy about that. They're really not going to be in here much longer. We plan to have them outside within a week. So we'll see how that goes. That is it for this episode. Don't forget to favorite, like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, it's for the birds.